Psychology in the Fast Lane, Difficult Topics Explained. The Weber Fraction. The Weber Fraction was named after the man who discovered it, a German physiologist with time on his hands named Ernst Weber. In studying touch, he found that the percentage of change necessary to perceive a difference between two different lifted weights remained the same across many varying weights. Long story short, he and many others after him determined that the amount of change that can be detected when lifting weights is 2% of the comparison weight. So for example, pretend you're lifting 100 pound bags of cement. Weber's fraction for weight predicts that if one of the bags had 2 pounds more cement in it, then you'd be able to tell it was heavier. But you could also demonstrate with pennies. Take 50 pennies and weigh them. You'll get 125 grams. That is, if they're all 1982 or newer. Weber's fraction, or the change you'll be able to detect if the comparison sample is 50 pennies, is 2% 2 of 125 grams, or 2.5 grams. So if I take your pennies and bag them into two tissues, which is negligible added weight, and I put 50 in one and 51 in the other, and put the two bundles of pennies in your outstretched hands, you should be able to tell which one is heavier just by one penny difference, or by the Weber fraction for weight for this comparison.